Hey, what's up? In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create some interesting text animation with the CC cylinder. Let's start with a new composition, Control N. I'm using a 1080 by 1350 comp size with a 10 second duration because this is a Instagram friendly size. So let's title it main comp and then this is similar, slightly similar to the previous tutorial of the the sphere sphere the sphere. Alright, so the first the first step is to create our uh, source text, the box for our source text, and I am using 960 by 108, preferably like a rectangle so that your box can fit into it. I'm gonna pre comb this and name this text source, text source, and then put in a dummy text. How do you like it deeper? Okay, so center it in this comp here let's go back so i'm using tap left right arrow and then going back here so with this i'm gonna add a motion tile i'm gonna add a motion tile like previously in our sphere and this looks like a percentage I'm gonna add a height Make it very high, 1001, that's fine. And then we're bring in our protagonist. CC cylinder, and you can see, straight away, let's change the render to outside. Uh, rotation, we're animate the rotation first. So animate that rotation. Uh, Alternate click on the stopwatch. We'll do time times 360 divided by 10. 360 giving one rotation 10 is the, the length of the comp 10 seconds. So over here you can see that we have this spacing here. We can increase to 200 and then our comp our comp space, our spacing over here is quite apparent. Uh, we can increase this by just filling up the, the space here, 50, 60 here. And then go back to our main comp. So the, the, the main idea is just fill up your space. You can make the comp width, this comp width smaller. Maybe 960, you don't 960, you can make it smaller, but just showing the example. Output height, increase it to say 1005, and then you we have a, a moving thing here. So you can move left to right. We can add in the face to move up and down as well. And we can add the tau center, animate the tau center to move up and down as well. This is one way of doing it. Let's duplicate this. So the next uh, next example we can use is to get the cylinder to go the other way. How can we do that? Let's bring in a transform. Let's bring in a transform, put it before our cylinder. Rotate the transform 90 degrees. And our output width only needs to be 100. So this is uh, narrower, narrow, narrower. Cylinder here, change the rotation so that, so instead of it going this way, unless this is what you want, let's change the rotation this way. Change the, change the render, what am I looking for? To full, we'll get this full on, uh, render of the sphere. Have a ninety degrees rotation here, and can do this. Put to push it back. We have our open our position. Bring in a Z position. We have it rolling in the D. Loop loop. Okay, we can play with the intensity. Give it a nice 
Play around with the shadow, give it a nice contrasty look. I like this. Something like that. Okay, so this is the second example that we can do. I'm going to duplicate this again. If we do the rotation like this, it gives us a lot of interesting design, whatever you call this, interesting looks. And if we change our rotation, rotation order as well, we can get a lot of different interesting looks. And then let me just reduce this output height. 100 face to let me re reset this okay I, I i like this i like how this is looking oh uh, change this to yzx and then you see this rolling thing is it looks very interesting and interesting is not a very nice adjective but who cares Right, so play around the rotations, rotations. Another example I have, this one will require, uh, okay, let's delete all this. I'm gonna use them later, but delete first and pre-compose this whole comp. Pre-compose this, this whole comp. Move the whole thing in so that we can have this in the, the whole comp. I don't know how to explain. And then we're gonna bring it back our motion tile. Bring back our cylinder. And then oh straight away you can see this uh cylinder here giving our effect. So I'm just gonna copy my previous expression from from before, bring it into our XYZ rotation alternate click. Just pay control V to paste it in. And then let's just you can begin with a very interesting effect. To offset it in the start, 90 degrees, 90 plus time. Maybe 90 is too much. Let's give 45 plus time, and then we have a offset from the beginning. The reason why we have to pre-comb this into the full height here is because if we don't, it will get cropped crop off. So what I mean is, let's say we duplicate this previous source here, delete all these effects, we have this main one here, copy all this in, go to our, hide this first. So copy paste this in and we get the same effect but we get a crop cropping crop yeah we get cropped off lah. that's what I mean if you want to extend the width you can go 300 and then we get more instances instances what a what a what a way to put it you can always scale it up scale it up to decrease the width between the words, the text, or come back here and then adjust it. Alrighty, so have fun.